Sea King, a lot of things have changed, but one thing will remain true. The great Ultra Tune Pump store for a lot of books serviced by a highly qualified mechanic. Ultra Tune, over 270 OP owned centers servicing Australia since 1979. Hi, it's Matt Layton with the news briefing. More than 1,400 homes are expected to flood as an extreme system over southeast Queensland dumps heavy rain. The weather event has claimed the life of a sixth person overnight, a man whose car became stuck in floodwaters at Indrapilly. Meteorologist Laura Bogle says heavy rain will continue to fall today with the worst of it south of the Sunshine Coast. We've seen a clearance in the northern areas, so Sunshine Coast, Fraser Coast. However, it's worth noting that these areas aren't out of the woods yet. So although they're not seeing that widespread and prolonged rainfall, they could still see showers and thunderstorms today. Emergency services in northern New South Wales are also on standby as Queensland's weather heads south. Premier Dominic Perrottet is urging people not to be complacent. Uh, whilst there might be blue skies in certain parts of New South Wales, uh, that, that does not mean uh, that there will not be significant flooding events that occur uh, over the course of this week. Residents in Ukraine's capital, Kiev, are being urged to close their windows following an oil depot attack. Officials warn the burning depot is emitting smoke and toxic fumes. The UN is reporting at least 240 civilian casualties and over 160,000 displaced Ukrainians trying to flee. Allied nations have announced new sanctions on Russia, including blocking banks from the SWIFT network. And Australia has recorded 25 COVID deaths in the past 24 hours. Most of those were in Victoria. Open your ears to a new world of audio with listener, radio, podcast, music and news. All in your personalised daily feed. Download the listener app now and listen for free. Results from today's four AFLW matches could fundamentally shape the upcoming final series. St Kilda's up by 24 in the clash with the Gold Coast Suns. Later, the Magpies take on the Bulldogs, the Eagles meet the Lions and the Giants tackle the Blues. The Adelaide 36ers are ahead by two in the NBL matchup with the Sydney Kings and an Aussie Olympian is pleading with someone who stole his Olympic bronze medal to return it. Boomer star Nathan Sobey took to social media to share the news that his house was broken into. Selling the family home. Two for the limestone coast this afternoon, dropping to lows of 16 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, 26, and a shower or two again with a chance of a thunderstorm from late afternoon. And our listener app is the new home of your local news. Join up to listen live or on demand now.